hello internet now i'm in litchfield um i'm in the bottom of a canal why am i in the bottom of a canal you might ask this is the litchfield canal which is currently being restored you will know this canal from driving under the litchfield canal aqueduct on the m6 toll the bridge to nowhere now if you've ever wondered what the story behind that is just keep watching to the end i'm joining the litchfield and haverton canal trust they're going to give me a tour of their site and the work they're doing and we're going to work our way up towards the aqueduct and they're going to tell us all about their plans for getting the canal up to the aqueduct. Oh, by the way, it's not just me. Bryn is here helping out. Hello! The Litchfield Canal, as it's known today, opened back in 1797. It became part of the Birmingham Canal navigation in 1840, but was later abandoned in 1955. The Litchfield and Haverton Canals Restoration Trust was created in 1988 to oversee restoration of the canal. While much of the canal, with significant work, it can be restored online, there are several points where it must deviate from the original line. I'm Peter Buck. I'm the engineering director for the uh, Litchfield and Hatherton Trust, Canal Trust. Uh, we've got nominally seven miles of canal to restore. Um, in all stages of uh, advanced restoration, uh, some sections are actually in water, uh, not, not as many as I would like, uh, and, and the rest we're, we're working our way up through. Uh, but basically the first thing we will try and do, whatever, is try and get to the point where we can actually have people walking along the side of the canal, walking on the towpath. So that's our first target, is always to get the towpath open and in use by the public so they can see what's going on. Chris Bull and I'm chairman of the Litchfield and Haverton Canals Restoration Trust, also the environment director and I look after, I, I convene the, uh, the Saturday morning grounds team and of adults and our Duke of Edinburgh volunteers of which we've got about over 20 on the books. My name's Alfie, I, um, I started off DV volunteering with the Trust last summer really and then I've sort of just carried on since then and grown with the trust and you know gone from just brick cleaning to now operating strimmers and all sorts of different tools and machinery. So initially I saw a sign on the side of the road and I thought well that's interesting I never knew about a canal in Litchfield and then after doing a bit more research I was fascinated by the canal infrastructure and what they're doing to bring this environmental corridor sort of back to Litchfield. Has it given you any new skills? Certainly teamwork skills are one of them working together and trying to solve problems on the job, especially when we hit money problems or any other sort of problems. There's a tree in the way. We're always thinking on our feet, how are we going to get around it? And do you, do you see yourself volunteering here for a few years to come? Yeah, they aren't going to get rid of me anytime <laughs> soon. I mean, we are all volunteers. In, in, in the LHCRT, there's no paid members of staff. We occasionally have to hire contractors, but we certainly could do with, we could do with more help behind the scenes, to be honest, particularly fundraising major one. Um, somebody who knows about planning applications would be very useful. Um, anybody really who, who can help with the behind the scenes work, uh, particularly welcome at the moment. It was inevitable that Bryn would find the engineer. The Trust have been amazing to give us so much of their time. Christine from the Trust has given us a detailed itinerary to visit a few of the locations on the network, meet some of their volunteers and see the work that they're doing. I love the canals. Yeah. I love wildlife. And it's for the community. And also, you know, getting out and enjoying people's company. So, I um, know, I just love being here. It's, it's, it's great fun. Of course, the HS2 is a new kid on the block, as we say these days, compared yeah. to the canal has been here over 200 years. Back in 2006, a new bridge was built there on Cabbers Lane, which they now wish to demolish and replace with another one of their own, a bit further across to allow the railway to pass through. To do that, they have bought up some of the canal and they are putting a new channel in underneath the railway and underneath their new road at their expense in water and is to be adopted by Canal and River Trust as soon as it's finished. <music> The M6 toll was, had been announced that they were going to build the M6 toll and they said we're going to build it right across the line of the canal 
and uh, we said whoa you can't do that if you do you 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 will cut the canal in half um, so an amazing team uh, of, of people set out to try and challenge challenge the 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 route and make sure that there was a uh, an aqueduct put in there to to allow the canal to be restored either side it's a fabulous um, a monument really to to the the hard work of some of those early canal pioneers that just said I'm not going to be beaten and we're doing the same now we're, we're having to fight 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 all the way through <music> towards the M6 toll viaduct and I've got some amazing tour guides. You've already seen a few of them and we'll hear from them when we get to the viaduct. is very noisy but we've made it you've driven under this so many times but here is the Litchfield Canal aqueduct on the M6 toll With the, with the aqueduct being here, the one thing we've got to do is raise, raise boats from basically the canal level, which is down, down here, the approximately five metres up to the, the channel, channel level across on the aqueduct going over the M6 toll. And uh, what we need to do is put a deep lock in there. It'll probably be the deepest uh, narrow lock in the country or at least one of the deepest narrow locks in the country um, it will need to have back pumping on it um, to make it work but there will be a significant basin down below it so bo bo boats can moor in and they will go through a guillotine gate into the chamber of the lock up in the lock and across out through another guillotine gate at the end onto the uh, lock uh, onto the aqueduct itself and across straight across on embankment right the way through and there will be about 400 meters of embankment on that side i, I think we're talking about a good million quid to to get the lock the lock rolling and and the the, the basin filled um and and get get stuck into this so that this this could happen that was a tour around the litchfield canal um i would like to give a massive thank you to christine who's just here, who's been helping me um, organise this. She's been fantastic in just the level of detail that's made this day possible. Would you like to give a few details on how anybody can um, help? The main thing we need is money. So we are completely volunteer led. We don't have any staff. We don't have any regular income other than donations um, and fundraising. So if you want to help us, please donate. I'm sure the link will be in the in the description. It will be down there. Um, you can take it a bit further, you can become a member, member of the trust and support us with an annual subscription or if you're local come volunteer, there's lots of different things you can do from coming and digging or doing something sort of behind the scenes, there's lots of stuff to do so get in touch. Okay, thank you. All the links are in the description to, uh, as Kristen said, support. Like, comment, subscribe, all the things the kids say and from here in Litchfield, bye bye. Bye.